a pretty expensive missile to be knocking down 3D printed drones, but again, rapidly fielding other capabilities and technologies. Now the AMRAM, the AIM-120, the Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile is getting another overall. The AIM-120 has really, I would say, been the backbone of air-to-air radar-guided missiles for the United, definitely for the United States and many of our NATO and Western allies since the 1990s. There have been a whole slew of variants and blocks that have come out. AIM-120 Echo that's on its way. The upgrades would include data link, advanced motor technology, allowing for larger or longer kinematic ranges. Think of data link with allowing F-35s or AWACS being able to guide this missile beyond the fighter fighter's capability or radar range. This basically is a cost-effective Again, bridge between the AIM-260, which is the future of high-end threat missile technology. The AMRAM has been getting a lot of use over the past year or so, shooting down drones, etc. It's a pretty expensive missile to be knocking down 3D printed drones, but again, rapidly fielding other capabilities and technologies. When it comes to a near-peer high-end fight, the AMRAM is going to be, again, very integral to any type of air combat. So you're gonna need a lot of them. And China has the PL-15, and from what we're hearing about the old PL-15, pretty robust missile. We need some robust missiles ourselves.